Over the next few million years, some of our ancient relatives left Africa, discovered fire, tools, and clothes. The human species evolved and multiplied. But due to climate changes, the only modern humans to survive were those that stayed in Africa. This woman is the mother of all mankind, the common ancestor from whom we all descend. She lived 150,000 years ago in East Africa, and everyone on Earth is related to her. 80,000 years ago, severe climate conditions have again reduced the number of modern humans to fewer than 10,000. They are scattered throughout Africa in small groups. In an effort to find food, one group living on the East Coast attempted a crossing of the Red Sea to the far coast of Yemen, a distance of only 10 miles, but a difficult and dangerous journey. They were successful, and every non-African in the world today is descended from this group. While some of our ancestors stayed in Yemen, others moved east along the coast of the Indian Ocean looking for warm, gentle places to stop. It took 6,000 years after reaching Yemen, but our ancestors ate their way to Malaysia. 6,000 miles from Africa, they were deep in the tropical rainforest of Southeast Asia, living a life of hunting and gathering. They roamed in small bands. They stayed in one place only long enough to reap the harvest of the wildlife, and then they moved on. Their bodies gradually adapted to the rainforest conditions. Away from the harsh African sun, their skins became lighter, and their stature was reduced by a lack of meat. The Toba eruption happened in Sumatra 74,000 years ago. It was the single biggest explosion on Earth in the last two million years. The plume was 25 miles high, and it plunged much of the world into six years of ash-covered darkness. Once again, our ancestors had to move to survive. 74,000 years ago, sea levels were 160 feet lower than today, and most of the islands of Southeast Asia were joined together in a single land mass. Running to escape from the Toba eruption, humans were pressured to cross to the unknown continent of Australia. 100 miles of shark-infested seas was an intimidating barrier. But amazingly, the evidence suggests that wave after wave of our ancestors made this perilous journey. For 30,000 years, harsh deserts blocked the passage from Yemen into Europe. But a favorable climate shift finally brought the rain. Rivers swelled and the game spread north, and our ancestors followed the game. They spread quickly into the Mediterranean, then south along the coast into North Africa, and up through the Balkans, and into Europe.
50,000 years ago, our ancestors entered what is now Germany. But they were in for a surprise. Germany was not empty. Another line of hominids that had left Africa over 250,000 years earlier was now the master of Europe. And although they had brains fully as large as modern humans, Neanderthal did not survive this contact. They were soon extinct. By 35,000 years ago, our ancestors were creating art and other treasured objects. Carvings from this time can be delicate and expertly done. Cave paintings, as well as carvings, were sometimes symbolic and sometimes representative of actual people or animals. Paintings often depicted the prey they were hunting. In some cases, dangerous animals such as lions or woolly rhinoceros. Other paintings may have represented magical or imaginary creatures. By 25,000 years ago, our ancestors had trekked north from Southeast Asia and east from the steppes in Siberia. The migration converged at the Bering Strait, connecting Asia with North America. Until recently, archaeologists believed that humans reached North America about 15,000 years ago. But new evidence places our ancestors crossing the narrow land bridge into North America between 20 and 25,000 years ago. Advancing ice from the north smothered the central plains and forced the migration down the west coast into South America. As the ice retreated, they spread back northward. There's evidence of a settlement in the rocky shelter on the Ohio River in Pennsylvania that was inhabited more than 16,000 years ago. By 8,000 years ago, humans had mastered herding and other skills. Agriculture, metallurgy, Civilizations sprang up around the world and included Babylon, Persia, Egypt, Greece, America, India, Samaria, and China. From those civilizations to our own is a matter of history. One thousand years ago, Chinese astronomers observed the first supernova in modern history. Today, we see its remnants as the Crab Nebula. A hundred and thirty years ago, Dmitri Mendelia arranged the elements that are created in the hearts of stars into today's periodic table. About one hundred years ago, Thomson discovered the electron, Rutherford discovered the nucleus, and Bohr put together the first detailed description of an atom. About 80 years ago, physicists concluded protons existed inside the nucleus. And about 70 years ago, Chadwick discovered the neutron. About 30 years ago, Murray Gell-Mann theorized the existence of quarks. Existence of the final quark cousin, predicted by his theory, was confirmed in 1995. Penzi and Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background, and 10 years ago, an experiment detected ripples in the thermal nature of that background, thus confirming inflation. 
the universe was created in an enormous explosion some 13.7 billion years ago. Before that explosion, there was no time, no space, no energy, and no matter.